something We had something going once That happened such a long, long time ago It was way back in 76 Our friendship full of pure innocence We first met on Matthew Street We hit something that would set us free Over a door, it says, Fall out to shoot the world. In the depths of those heavy nights, we would dream of those bright lights. Oh, my friend, oh, my friend, oh, my friend. Yeah. Freddie Mercury, 1986. We got to play with Queen at Wembley Stadium. <laughs> and the journey to that concert started out somewhere around 1984. We went out to do a television show in Switzerland called uh, the Montreux Film Festival. And we, we got to be on the stage with Queen and, and Rod Stewart, but we won't mention him. And, and, Ironically, we, we had to go on stage after Queen. They were our opening act. Yeah! <laughs> and, uh, while we were just getting ready to go on the stage, um, Dave Sharp, I guess, had a, had a panic because he couldn't find any guitar picks. And, that, and as they came off, uh, Brian May, the guitarist, was, was it, came into the corridor and said, what's, go what's going on here, gentlemen? <laughs> he was from Portsmouth. And I said, and we said, we haven't got any guitar picks. I said, oh, have one of these, dear boy. And, and it was an old, an old sixpence because he used to play without guitar picks. And uh, so he saved the day. We went on and we, we did the show. We had loads of mascara, eyeliner, and hair up to this way. And, uh, and then after the show, we, we went to the, they, they had a party in the hotel and we went. And I stood with Twist, the drummer, having a drink at the bar. And then this guy came over, he was like that, that big. He was built this wide, and he obviously came from Portsmouth as well. <laughs> and he, he kind of looked down on me and Twist and goes, Freddie Mercury wants to meet you. <laughs> At that point, he got me in a headlock. And he got Twist, and he marched us over, our feet were dangling like this. And Twist looked over at me and goes, he's after me, you know. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> anyway, we got introduced to Freddie Mercury himself. He was there in, in all his finery and he said, Mike, Mike Peters from The Alarm. I'm a massive Alarm fan. Yeah. Yeah. And he was so gracious. He was absolutely, what a beautiful man. He knew everything about the Declaration album. He wanted to know about all the songs, where the lyrics came from, the production. He, he, was, he talked to me for hours on end. And, uh, and at the end of the conversation, he said, look, if you ever want any help with your career, here's a phone number to ring. And I thought, wow. I thought I'd had Freddie Mercury's number, but he gave me the number of his office. <laughs> and we were recording the Strength album in 1985. I went to Live Aid. I actually missed Queen's performance. I left after you two um, missed their amazing performance and uh, had to go back to carry on recording. And we were recording The Spirit of 76 that day. And uh, we had a piano intro for it and everything. And when we were going out to tour it, we thought, we needed a piano to go and play. We didn't have one. So I thought, what? Freddie Mercury said, give him a call if I ever want to have <laughs> So I phoned the office and, they, and, they, and I said, we want to get a piano like what Queen have, you know. And he said, well, we're, um, it wasn't Freddie Mercury, obviously, but it was something that sounded like him. And he said, uh, he said but we've got an electric piano for sale. I thought, can we buy it? Yes. So we went down to somewhere in in the, near, um, somewhere in the south, <laughs> near Portsmouth. <laughs> and we picked up this electric piano um, and, it, and it came in a big flight case and everything and we carted it around the world. And then we were playing on the Strength Tour, Spirit of 86 it was known, and we were in Canada. And, and those days there was no social media or news as we know it today. And so I went to buy a new Musical Express from the, from the shop and it was about a week late getting it. And I opened it up in Canada and it had this big advert for Queen playing at Wembley Stadium. And I was with our manager Ian Wilson. I said, Ian, wouldn't it be amazing if we could play those gigs? And I went back to the hotel 
And there was a message from our agent saying, Mike, you've had a phone call from Freddie Mercury himself, and they want the alarm to play at Wembley Stadium with Queen. It was amazing. It's like asking all of you to play at Fratton Park. And so the day arrived when we get to go to play at Wembley, and you know, I, I'm, I'm, you know, the singer, so I'm gonna get, get a nice early night. So the night before the concert, I went to bed at two o'clock in the afternoon, <laughs> just to, so I could be ready for the gig. And woke up in the morning, it was buzzing, ready. At Wembley Stadium, here we come, the Twin Towers. And the, on the way, we picked everybody up and Twist, the drummer, was the last to be picked up because his flat was near Wembley. And we stopped there to, and, then, and then we knocked on the door and his wife opened the door and she said, um, he's only got home about two minutes ago. <laughs> He's been out with Michael Hutchins. <laughs> and they've been up to no good. <laughs> and she said, it's gonna take me about an hour to resuscitate him, get him in the shower, some black coffee. And uh, so I thought, I, I can't wait for an hour. Would you at Wembley in a minute? So I jumped out of the bus and I decided to go on the tube train to Wembley Stadium. And it was probably the best thing I could have done. Because I went on the tube and there was all the, the fans of Queen and status quo. I was, you know, you could fairly, I was easily to recognise them over the hair <laughs> and their fringe jacket and all that kind of thing. And they, it was almost like they chaired me down Wembley Way. There's some people had me on their shoulders and, and they were the alarm and they were singing 68 guns and it was, and I got in the stadium and a game of soccer on the pitch. And then we went out stage and we played this song at Wembley Stadium and, and to see F every arm in Wembley Stadium, all the alarm fans had their poppy banners in the air and it was probably one of the greatest days we had in our lives and if you were at Wembley Stadium, thanks for being there, thanks for Freddie Mercury for making it happen. This is called Bohemian Rhapsody. The Spear 76, come on! A one, two, three, four!
Spirit! 